Okay, we're out in the field and we're doing a uh, field assembly here on a Zanier 701. And there's a couple of things about the, uh, the 701, or actually an inverted engine installation, that you want to be aware of. Now, one of the things is that this engine is using oil injection. This is the oil injection tank here. And this is the oil pump here. Now, the problem that you have is that the oil injection pump is a gravity feed from the tank to the pump. That means that in order for this pump to work, it has to be fed through gravity to from this tank. And as you can see, the tank is actually, the feeder for the tank is below the pump. That means that this pump will not work if the oil gets below this 500 mark. This 500 mark, or 500 milliliter, which is on the tank, indicates that there's the level of the uh, pump. So the problem that I see here is that if someone were to look at this and see that uh, the tank still had fuel, uh, oil in it, in actual fact, and the gravity feed system, the gravity will not be supplying oil to this pump. Now one of the other problems that you have in an inverted engine installation, and for example the Challenger now is using a 582 in an inverted situation, or inverted installation. The problem that you have is this is the rotary valve tank, and it uh, uh, lubricates, this oil lubricates the rotary valve shaft. Now in a standard installation, this tank is actually located up by the spark plugs. In order to put it into an inverted installation, you have to disconnect the hoses and you have to change the tank position so that the tank is in this position, which is above the engine. Now the problem that you have with that is that the rotary valve shaft, which is located here in the engine, has to be filled with the spark plugs facing skyward. So that means that I actually have to fill this tank before installation, I have to have the spark plugs facing towards the sky, I have to hold the tank up, I have to fill the tank, and then I have to reverse the engine and then install the engine. Now failing to do that will result, in most cases, in the failure of the engine upon startup. That means if you've got a brand new 582 Rotax engine and you fail to fill this system up with the spark plugs facing up, when you start this engine, I can almost guarantee you that this rotary valve shaft fa will fail in here and it will normally take the crankshaft out. The brass from the uh, gear will generally embed itself into the crankshaft and it will cost you three or $4,000. So if you're in an inverted installation, whether it's a new installation or whether you're coming and reinstalling the engine, what you have to make sure is that you fill this tank with the tank and the spark plugs facing the sky, and then do your inst engine installation holding this tank at all times above the engine. Now another unique thing about an inverted engine installation is that you have this line that is coming off of the cooling system. And what this line does is it vents any air that's in the system. If you were, for example, had air in the front cylinder, uh, that isn't cooling the system or cooling the cylinder, you get a hot spot and could cause a seizure. So what Rotax does is they put this uh, vent line in, which runs back into the cooling system, and that allows air to vent in the system. And you want that to vent from the highest spot in the system. Now, when the engine is upside down like this, the highest spot in the system is at the water pump outlet, the top of the water pump outlet. Now, in a standard system, this would be in the, if it was in a tractor configuration, this hose would be located on the cylinder head, and if it was in a pusher at the front of the cylinder head, or the uh, gearbox side of it, if it was in a pusher configuration, then it would be on the uh, magneto side or the uh, starter side. But in inverted installation, this is uh, where it has to go, off of the top of the uh, water pump outlet. And it runs back into the rad system here. Now you can see again, we're in an inverted engine installation here, and this gearbox is facing upwards. That means that the gearbox, now the level of the gearbox in this situation is there. Your oil level is there. So what you do is you pull this plug out, you put uh, gearbox oil in here until it starts to run out of here. And you have to have the airplane level when you're doing that.